Hello and welcome. This is USL Game Night, the first and only digital game show where fans and players can play together but separate. I'm your host, Kelsey Seal. Welcome to the show. Every week, two clubs featuring a player and a fan will join me for the ultimate game night competition. Each team will play three games total, and the team to earn the most points by the conclusion of the final round is our weekly champion. So let's get week five underway here. This week, representing Hartford Athletic, we've got midfielder Noah Pervicini and fan Abby O'Keefe. Welcome to the USL game night, guys. Noah, how do we feel about Hartford's chances today? Um, you know, I have confidence. I'm prepared for anything. We'll see. Abby seems like she's amazing, so we got this. No pressure, Abby. Oh, we're going to win the league. I mean, whether it's this game or the actual league, we've got it. I love it. Well, confidence is not lacking over on a uh, Hartford athletic <laughs> side there, but on the opposing side, we've got our representatives from OKC energy FC. So goalkeeper Kyle Ein and fan Matt warmest makeup team. OKC today, Matt, you've been a dedicated uh, OKC fan over the years now. What do you think you'll be able to bring to the team today? Well, um, I have the experience, the knowledge. I was an only child that grew up in Kansas, so I've spent a lot of my time studying these game shows that I know what win. So, so Kansas has prepared you for this, in essence. Those hot summer days, yes. Yes. I love it. All right, well, we won't keep you guys hanging any longer. Let's get USL Game Night underway. The first game you're playing tonight is called Timeline. So I'll give you four events, and your team must put those events in order from oldest to most recent. Now, each team will have 60 seconds to decide on their order, and then both teams will have the opportunity of earning a point each if they get that timeline correct. So for this game, we do recommend having a piece of paper, or Abby, in, in your case, some napkins nearby, whatever you guys can write on um, at this point, jot some notes down. Um, but first things first, we got to figure out who's going to go first tonight. So Noah, Kyle, let's get a game of rock, paper, scissors here to decide who's going to go first today. All right. All right, All right. Stand in game, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So when you guys are ready, we'll go to. All right. Rock, rock paper, 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 scissors, scissors. Shoot. shoot. All right. Are they both scissors? There's, yeah. <laughs> All right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. All right. Oh <laughs> Off to a great start. All right. Respectable. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. God. I, like yeah. I like this. Stencil right here. All right. Come on. One more this take. is going to be the entire game night. This yes. is because Predictable Bart right. always picks rock. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Shoot. Uh, hey. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. see what the <laughs> All right, thanks guys. That's uh this has been game night and then uh... <laughs> All right, Kyle, Team OKC, would you guys like to go first or would you kind of like Hartford to uh be the guinea pigs here? Uh Matt, what are you thinking? Um, what's that? I'm feeling second. Second? Yeah, let's uh let's have them go first. Okay, first one. In this year, disposable contact lenses were introduced to the world. Okay, in this year, Lance Armstrong was banned for life from competing in cycling events and then was also stripped of his seven Tour de France titles. Okay, third one. Netflix launched one of the very first streaming services in this year. All right, and our final one. In this year, Michael Jordan and Nike released the very first pair of Air Jordans. All right, Hartford, you are on the clock. All right. Um, I'm thinking disposable contacts first, and then Jordan and Nike, and then between Netflix and the Lance Fall from Grace, I don't really know which one of those uh, two. So I'm thinking contacts, Jordans, uh, Armstrong, Netflix. All right. But did Lance's fall from when, – when did it – because Netflix has been around for a while. I just don't know when they started their streaming service. 
Netflix has been around as you got the DVDs in the mail for a really long time. I want to say, like, early aughts, like 2000, 2001. And Lance, Lance Armstrong, like, we were wearing Livestrong bracelets in, like, 2009, 2010. So I want to say Netflix is after that. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. So I'm saying Contacts, Jordans... Netflix Armstrong. Sure. Final answer. Uh, if you're all right with that, Noah, that's final answer. Pass up 50 50 between the last two for me, so we'll go for it. All right. You guys hit that 60 seconds like right on the mark, too. Um, incorrect. You guys actually flipped Air Jordans and contact lenses. Really? Yeah, what? yeah. Ooh, so, contact um, that, that recent? Yeah, yeah. So um, MJ glass came out in '84. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it went Air Jordan, contact lenses, Netflix, Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Hard for two out of the four points there. Okay, see you guys are up. First one here. Snoop Dogg dropped this massive hit, "Drop It Like It's Hot," in what year? In this year, the world mourned the sudden death of Princess Diana in one of the most famous tragedies of all time. Third one, Nokia became the first mobile phone to support text messaging in this year. And our final one, in this year, Hank Aaron's record 755 home runs was broken by Barry Bonds. You're on the clock. All right, um, Barry Bonds was 05, 06. Um, Drop It Like a Hot was after that. Princess Die was the late 90s. When did text messaging? Um, I feel like that would have to... I feel like it's between Princess Diana and texting, but... I feel like texting may have come before that. Yeah. I want to say Nokia's one, Princess Diana's two, and then Hank Aaron's record gets broken. Yeah. And drop it like it's hot. I'm alright with that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the order that I'd go with. Nokia, Princess Di, uh, Hank, Hank Aaron's new All right. One more time. Uh, texting came first, then Princess Diana's death, then Hank Aaron's record got broken, then Snoop Dogg released the song. You guys are also two for four. The final two uh, are flipped there. Ah, uh, so sorry, guys. You're so confident about Snoop's Drop It Like It's Hot, Matt. Like, no questions asked. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, just question it. Like, I know. <laughs> what year did that song come out then? I was like, I was like, yeah, that song was popular and when the pimp's in the crib, Ma, drop it yeah. like it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's all right. No, it's good. So I'll give you the years. Um, Nokia yeah. was um, 1994. Ooh, wow. Here um, I was born. <laughs> and I also learned a little bit of history while we were at this. The first text message was actually sent on a PC, not a cell phone. So the more you know. More you um, know. And then uh, Princess Diana was 97. Okay. I knew that. that yeah. My journalism degree would have come in handy at that <laughs> question. It did not come in handy the last round. I was thinking like 97, 98 because of all the Beanie Babies. Yeah. Dodi Oyet. Oh, I knew that one. I knew that one off the top of my head. <laughs> I love that. Well, uh, and then our final two, Snoop Dogg was 04. What? Yeah, oh. and Barry Bonds no. was 07. Oh. Ooh, I'll go down. But does it count because he took the roids? I don't know. I think we should get three points just for that. Just yeah. Just out there. <laughs> Listen, if it doesn't work in the USL, it doesn't work in this game, all right? No roids, okay? <laughs> Drop it. I love it. All right, well, heading out of the first game, we're all tied 2-2. Um, you guys, though, I, I'm really impressed by the amount of thought and um, analyzation that went into that one. So I think that's going to make these next two a lot of fun.
All right, in the second game of the night, you're teaming up with your partner once again. This time, it's called All the Things. So one partner will serve as the guesser while the other gives the clues. In this specific game, though, you must rely on the clues and solely the clues here. No acting or using your hands, all that jazz. The clue giver will be given a subject about things, and the goal is to name items in that subject to get your partner to guess the phrase. So, for example, if the phrase is things that swim, the clue giver might say things like fish, shark, dogs in essence to try to get people to guess things that swim that makes sense to you guys yep. Yep. cool so each team's gonna have 30 seconds on the clock here to get as many items correct as possible you'll have six total so each answer is worth a point if you get all six and under 30 seconds we're gonna double your point total yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So since uh, Hartford went first in our first game, OKC, it's all on you guys. Matt, you are the yes. clue giver here. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Send these over to you. You all set? Yep. You're on the clock. All right. Um, stones. Tootsies. Um, um, hill. Um, I skipped that one. Let's okay, skip it. Um, menu, food, drinks. I think they're a restaurant. Okay. Um, paper, pencils, textbook. Things that are school supplies. Calculator. Does that count for that? Okay. Um, okay. Time. Honestly, Matt, though, those are really good clues. Oh yeah, the, the the clues were probably great. I'm probably just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so there, yeah, Kyle, Kyle's not doing his fair share here, Matt. <laughs> That's fine. All right, Noah, this one's coming your way. Are you ready? Um, yeah. All right. In the DMs, let me know when you're good. Do, do I have to like start with the first one, or can I do any single one of them? Try to start with the first. <laughs> okay. All right, you're on the clock. Um, keys, a game. Um, purse. No, I'm okay. I'm gonna skip that one. That one's weird. Um, teller, ATM. <laughs> bank. Things in a bank. Yep. Yeah. Steering wheel, chair, seatbelt. Things in a car. Yeah. Um, purse. Never mind. Skipping that one. Um, salsa. Chipotle. Time. Things in a restaurant. Mexican yeah. restaurant. It's things that are spicy. I, I panicked. <laughs> Absolutely panicked. <laughs> I'm seeing a trend. <laughs> Guys, we have a barn burner, though, heading out of this one. Three to two in favor of Hartford. Well done. Noah, was that, uh, was that harder than you kind of anticipated it being? It was. Yeah, the third one was things with a strap. And I was, like, trying to think of, like, random things. What? With the strap. <laughs> so, like, I would think, like, seatbelt. Yeah, seatbelt or, like, backpack, I guess. But, like, That's that was why still, it was like, things in a car. I was like. Yeah, yeah. And the first one was things you lose. So I was like, I don't know, a game. Geez, <laughs> The game was my, good. I would have never thought of that. Mind, yeah, maybe? One. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Your mind? Yeah. <laughs> All right. One final game left to play here. Hartford has a one-point lead. All right. The final game of the night we're playing is called Password. So same as last game, we'll have one clue giver and one guesser. But this time, both teams will be playing the same word and only able to give one clue. So once the one word clue is given to your partner, your partner then has 10 seconds to guess what that word is. And if they're wrong, we jump over to the other team and then they give their shot at a one word clue and a guess. But the trick here is to use each other's clues to try to guess the word correctly. Now, each time an answer is incorrect, the points on the board will drop by one. So we'll start with 10 and we'll go down from there. And then we'll play two rounds total, giving each team one chance to guess the word first. All right, round one is underway. Matt, get after it. Let's go. Um, offense. Football. 
Okay. No, down one. Nine points now on the board. Noah? Abigail? Bagel. Bagel? Yeah. Um, cream. I, my, my internet's messing up right now. I can barely hear anything. Cream is on the right track. Yep. Down, down to eight points, though. Okay, see, you guys are up. Oh, I know the word now. Well, let's go with, uh, I seen. Um. Two seconds. Uh, cake. Uh. All right, down to seven points. All right, my turn now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hummus. Spread. Well yep. done, Hartford. It was yeah, the offense on the way away. It was a spread offense. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a cake out. That sounds on me again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Hartford, that takes you guys to 11 points. Just, I like just, that. I like I that. Rock that. Love that. All right, let's see how your counterparts do here. <laughs> got this. Here we go. We got this, Kyle. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> and Harper, we'll give it to you guys first. Mm. Whenever you're ready, Noah. Speak. Easy. Nope, down to nine, point, nine points. Singing. Voice. Oh! That would have been my next guess. Dang. Oh my gosh. Got you, Kyle. I got you. Love that. You guys, I'm, I'm not kidding. You had three points on the board. Yeah. That takes you to 12. You overpass Hartford by one point. I want to Unbelievable! <laughs> I'm sorry, Noah. I ruined it. Oh, it's okay. I I figured out the last one Feels right great. after I guess. So it's like, it's kind of on me also. It, that, for me, like speak, I was just immediately going with the first thing that came to my head, not the logical thing, which was no, the okay. voice. Speak easy was the first thing that came to my mind too, because that's six thirty. So <laughs> honestly, if you would if you had said capo. If you had said capo, I would have gotten it. <laughs> well, you guys did did really well, but that, I mean that'll do it for episode five. And an absolute barn burner of a game. This one was so good. OKC takes the W tonight. Twelve total points by one point though for the win. Guys, thanks for playing. This was so fun. OKC, Kyle Matt, congrats on the win. Pop those bottles of champagne wherever you guys do over there in Oklahoma tonight. Thank you for uh, everyone back home. We love you for tuning in today. We'll see you guys next week. Do this all game night.